Hey, I'm Rob. We're gonna look at the iconic 8D. This is my con. It's an L series from 1968. They're great playing horns. They're well built. They're just played until there's no material left. And this horn is starting to show its age with the several patches now. The 8D is a copy of a crusty horn. You can tell it's a crusty horn because the exchange valve, the one here, depressed with your thumb, is above the rest. The composition is nickel silver, also known as German silver. Because the instrument is made of nickel silver, which is a harder material than brass, it has a much larger throat and bell to counteract the denser material. So the instrument itself sounds darker than your typical Geyer style instrument. Crusty style double horn was invented in the 1890s, so it predates Carl Geyer's designs by about 20 to 30 years. Professionals still use this type of horn, especially out in New York, Cleveland, and some parts of LA where they do a lot of studio recording. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Some final thoughts. I think the Kani D is a great instrument for anyone and everyone who's looking to play the horn. It has a great sound. It's dark, rich, thick, very creamy, almost like a chocolate milk. I think because of the larger throat on the instrument, maybe younger students will have trouble trying to find the proper hand position, but those who have larger hands shouldn't have any problems with it, especially when it comes to having to stop the instrument. Like I said, these horns are prized for their dark and rich sound. So if you can get your hands on one, by all means, go ahead and do it. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next week.